Now, if you were told, if you go to a beach, you may see topless women in Europe, right? And you go to the beach and you see topless women in Europe, right? Don't you have to behave yourself right? Right. See what I mean? Right. So what does that mean? Like I told you, whether my stepdaughter woke me up or not. And how do you know when we're alone if I did anything with her or not, right? And she was with her mom anyway, too, right? So I'm not so crazy that I don't think my ex-wife would want that to happen herself. But are you? Are you? <laughs> but what I'm asking you is a simple question. Why? Unless she didn't want the son or something, right? Would she go through all that with me, right? And then suddenly try to use her stepdaughter as bait, right? Does that make sense, right? I don't know. I'm asking you a question. I can't prove or disprove, right? That's what this is about. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a, what's called an autobiography on the real person. Which is me. Which is you. <laughs> now, most people have to change their names for some reason. Are you doing something wrong? <laughs> right. I keep asking you, why do you do that? <laughs> if you don't have nothing to hide, right? If you take a non plume, right? That means something is off, right? Like even with Bill Bixby, when he played the Incredible Hulk, Bruce Banner, because he was accused of a murder he did not commit, right? Right. <laughs> Just like you're accusing me of doing with my stepdaughter, I cannot do if I'm on the couch in the living room, right? And watching TV till 11 p.m. and I go to sleep every two hours, right? At least Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And Friday night, I still might not necessarily stay up much past 11 or 12, depending on if I'm watching, uh, what was it, what was it then? Carson, right? <laughs> what, still Johnny Carson in 94? I think so. Mm -hmm. Or did Lino take over? Somewhere around there, right? Anyway, anyway. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. For a while, it was Leno, And then just recently, it became founded anyway within the last, what, five, ten years, right? Less than that. Somewhere around there, right? So, Leno took over for Carson. And then, right, after Carson, Leno was Fallon, right? That's Sounds accurate, right? That I know. <laughs> Why? Because we watch TV, because I watch TV, right? <laughs> Even my ex wife, when she lives with me, knows I like TV and I had to got this cable and all that. <laughs> but that's part of paying the bills, see? I give her money for rent, whatever, right? And the reason I'm doing that is we were also told by some. African American dude, we went making past this once. If we were or weren't, is it just up to me? It's up to her. Mm -hmm. Now, just as whatever's bugging her about me, right? She's doing things that bug me about her too. You know what I mean, right? The difference is, right? <laughs> I'm trying to work it out, right? Mm -hmm. Until what point? When she left, she said, "See, maybe, maybe." <laughs> Now, is that a big deal to you, like I asked you before? Mm-hmm. Would a woman stay with a man who took her halfway across the country, left her in another state, <laughs> right, and abandoned her on the side of the road, <laughs> went on to Arkansas, <laughs> had to find a bus back to her home, <laughs> And why are her parents for money? <laughs> or call her parents for money? Would you think <laughs> if you did that to your wife, <laughs> she should stay with you anyway? No! <laughs> or you've gone crazy and think you can do whatever the hell you want to do to your wife. And you don't have to be responsible for that, right? Or you don't have to be responsible for leaving her on the side of the road, right? You are responsible for her safety if you're taking her somewhere or not, right? 
You can't leave her with very little money on the side of the road to the gas station. <laughs> and her think there's nothing wrong with you afterwards. <laughs> or that you married her for the wrong reasons. <laughs> and never loved her. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Right. <laughs> now, who, if the mom is there, would have something to hide anyway the best? Her first. Right. She's also the only one who can allow the daughter to leave the bedroom and come with her to eat, right? Do you understand why whoever is at fault, okay, here or not, right? It's not one person's sole responsibility to make sure his stepdaughter is in the bedroom with her mom, right? Do you understand why? <laughs> what is the first thing Dr. Phil and Oprah are teaching you about a real pedophile. One, the opposite of what I'm telling you now. <laughs> the pedophile mm -hmm, is usually involved with a child and is sleeping with the mom. <laughs> Not the mom and daughter sleeping together and the pedophile on the couch. <laughs> That's 150. 7,000% wrong. <laughs> if you don't understand that, <laughs> in the first damn place, right, something's fucked up with your way of thinking. Right. Superly F, fornication, un, you, lawful, C, carnal, K, knowledge. <laughs> Who brought us carnal knowledge? Satan or Jesus? Satan. Who sinned with Satan to get that carnal knowledge? Adam and Eve. How long does it take <laughs> once you get the carnal knowledge for you to stop being carnal? It's a choice. <laughs> Choose you this day every day whom you will serve. <laughs> Whether the gods of your forefathers, which is Satan, the gods of these people, which is Satan, or Satan himself, which is Satan. <laughs> Anything that teaches you carnal knowledge over love <laughs> is Satan. Anything that don't teach you carnal knowledge is of God, right? Do you understand, right? But spiritual knowledge ain't denying sex 50-50, if you become one flesh with your wife after you're made two, right? If I take bone and flesh, right, from the man, right, <laughs> and I tell him become one flesh with the woman, not bone and flesh again, the man don't have a bone <laughs> in his penis like other mammals. Why? <laughs> Design? Right. If I'm a designer, <laughs> And I put a bone in all the other people's penis. <laughs> but I don't put one in me. And what am I saying? I made you, little boy. <laughs> you did not make yourself, little boy. You're different than all the other creatures, little boy. <laughs> and the difference is in your penis. <laughs> little male child. <laughs> Acting childish and carnal with Satan. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> you become one flesh with her, not bone and flesh with her. I told you that before. <laughs> Your penis don't have a bone like other men will do either. <laughs> Why do you think I brought that up before in my other lessons on the other channels you tried to take down? <laughs> By assaulting me with vicious attacks of panacea. Knowing you yourself can't have sex with a child, nor bring a child to a disabled bed to a young person without being charged with kidnapping. <laughs> That's kidnapping <laughs> with or without the parents' permission. <sighs> I can't kidnap a child because I don't leave the house all night. <laughs> no, you don't. At all. <laughs> Never thought of kidnapping a child. Even when two girls were trying to drive a damn stick and couldn't drive it, I just tried to teach them how to drive a stick. 
Which they can't do unless they're what? Both 16. Right. <laughs> I don't know they are, and I don't know they don't. <laughs> but they can't drive unless they have proper documentation. I don't, didn't ask to see their ID. I just saw they were having problems driving the car, and I helped them to drive the car. <laughs> oh, no. If you're making something up about something, right, right, the first thing you have to realize is I'm 53 years old now. Mm -hmm. You've been throwing all kind of crazy crap at me on YouTube, right? The only thing I admitted to is what I actually recall or don't recall from the incident that might could happen in what year? 1994? I didn't get on YouTube until 11 years. I wrote an autobiography telling you some of the things that happened, right? And I innocently said, because of this, for you again, right? I could have molested my stepdaughter, but did not or didn't. <laughs> Mm hmm Though I was only sleeping on the couch <laughs> and nothing happened. And nothing happened. That's not a way mm -hmm. for a person who's sane mm -hmm. to think that means actual molestation of the child, right? Unless someone coached her, right? Right. Now what am I saying secondly? Daphne has to drive to Arkansas and back in a two-day period, right? Or three-day period, right? From Friday to Sunday night to get back in time herself for whatever reason she left me straight in Tennessee, too, right? Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to be safe, right? I don't know why my ex-wife left me stranded in Tennessee, but that was too big a deal for me to keep living with her. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, at the time. <laughs> Period! <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. But here's the problem. If it takes you 19 hours to drive there, it takes 19 hours or so to drive back. Right. Or so. I don't know. Now, it can seem, though, like when you're driving back somewhere or towards somewhere, one seemed to take a little longer than the other, but that could be your own perception. I don't know, right? If it's the same for me or different for other people, too, right? <laughs> Maybe I'm on there, too, right? I don't know where I'm at or anymore. But I do admit I started hearing voices in 93, did not report hearing voices before that to anyone around me. Not my parents, not my friends. I wasn't going around Myron and David and telling them I'm a prophet or one of the two witnesses unless they're trying to kill me or something, but then that's different. But if I did, that would be wise. <laughs> they're, trying to murder you. they're trying to murder me, right? I don't know if they did, if they did. <laughs> but if they did, they did it when I was so tired I couldn't stay awake anymore. I can't tell me. It's still the medication you're talking about, I mean. I've been up all night like Rhonda. <laughs> Not Rousey, but cheer. Mm -hmm. From USA, up all night. <laughs> Back in the 80s. <laughs> when she was being a little celebrity doing movies on USA Network. <laughs> now I didn't always get to see Rhonda up all night. Because <laughs> it was sometimes... Only at my grandma's house I could see it sometimes, right? Not all the time, sometimes. Sometimes we even see kung fu movies at grandma's house. But that's the point. <laughs> or be my, all right. Mmm. Damn. Who am I dealing with here now again? <sighs> some crazy butt wipes. Some crazy butt wipes. I no. Who have replaced the love and caring of Jesus back with the carnal mind of Satan that the first century Jewish synagogues and temple were teaching the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. Jesus came in peacefully. Right? Born in the Bethlehem, Bethlehem manger or whatever. Right? Whichever Bethlehem you want it to be. <laughs> 
After 2,000 years, no one can tell damn shit. <laughs> Not even Emperor Constantine 300 years later. But he's the one who radically changed the doctrine of Jesus. Or not Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Not even necessarily the disciples. But there was obviously some kind of inner turmoil hmm, about the personage of what Jesus looked like without clothes on, which only one man saw him on the cross. That's John the Beloved. Right? The other men, <laughs> by the way, hmm, did not see him naked on the cross. <laughs> but only one man could testify to what he saw that day, if he did. <laughs> and what's his name? John Mark or something like that? <laughs> A surname is your last name, idiot. <laughs> if he's John Mark, he wrote Mark and John and John. Just as Luke wrote Luke and the what? <laughs> Acts of the Apostles, right? <laughs> Dummies, right? <laughs> Who am I dealing with here? 20th century Christians are the Laodicean church. <laughs> Do you know who you are? <laughs> I don't know. What you're doing here? I don't know. And are you for Jesus or the carnal mind of Satan, which teaches destroy those who want to destroy you back? <laughs> If you have slight differences with what you eat or drink, kill each other over it. <laughs> Don't forgive, by the way, at all. <laughs> Throw anyone who even thinks a bad thought in the hell <laughs> with you, with you, when you die. Even if it's of natural causes, you're dying with Satan, right? You're not living with Jesus who was resurrected from the dead, right? But why only Jesus? Did he truly forgive? Or did he truly condemn us? <laughs> but if you're following Satan, then Jesus must return for the millennial reign to the right? Where are you going if he does? <laughs> and you're following Satan anyway. Hell? <laughs> but who's sending you to hell? You and Satan, right? See, when you stop following the devil... <laughs> You stop loving, right? You become carnally minded. You judge everything you do as right or wrong, right? With no exception to the rule, right? Now, what is an exception to the rule? Mm -hmm. It's called permissible things that if you allow someone to do and make rules for without mm -hmm, harming others in the process, the true law has to do with not being carnally minded, which means what? Tolerance of mistakes, right? Certain mistakes or even bigger deals in the Bible <laughs> than not in the Bible, right? Right. <laughs> now, what would happen if you ate pork? They would kick you out of the camp, right? They wouldn't kill you or stone you or anything, right? <laughs> but they would make you leave if you ate pork, right? They didn't try to stone you for pork, right? If you ate it or not. <laughs> you just couldn't be a Jew anymore if you did. <laughs> Does that sound like calling down fire from heaven like Elijah did, like the disciples wanted to? Or like Jesus saying, let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind, and the blind leaders of the blind, they shall both fall into the pit. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Which is peaceful, right? Right. Which is loving and forgiving, right? Of the two ideas from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Both are in your Bible, though. Mm -hmm. Elijah did call down fire from heaven by saying to the men chasing him, or the prophets of Baal, right? <laughs> At the time, right? <laughs> If your God be God, let him call down fire from heaven. But if my God be God, my God will call down the fire from heaven, right? Now, we don't know if the fire was something like a meteorite or exactly what it was, exactly, right? Of the perfect size, too, that just hit the ordinary knee drill or something, right? Or if it really even literally happened, it wasn't just a metaphor telling of 
arguing about whose God is greater don't prove nothing if you're trying to murder each other, right? You see what I mean? Well, they think there might be proof of Solomon or David in other cultures, but again, right, it's kind of hard to tell that too sometimes, right? Though, in, um, whether it was Persia or somewhere around there, the house of David is mentioned, I guess, hopefully by name, right? Right. Okay, if someone's of the house of David, right, and they have prodigy, right, their sons and daughters will interact with people around them. But if fictional, no one knows about them but Israel, right, right. Same with Helen of Troy. Mm -hmm. Until recently, even she was thought mythological. <laughs> I know. And some people say the Bible now is mythological. Right. But then someone else mentioned King David again. Right. Which kind of leads more credit that the Jews were in the land. This here is still the Arab Jew land conflict. And that's anti Semitic too, and anti Arab Jew, technically. <laughs> You're both, right, fighting instead of trying to live together peacefully over the same land. <laughs> Here's a concept. <laughs> you both don't like pork. <laughs> you both circumcise one eight days and one thirteen. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Get along. <laughs> live together in peace and harmony. Don't attack the Jews, Hamas, <laughs> or whatever you want to call yourself, and Jews won't try to retaliate, I guess. Usually. usually. <laughs> it's only if you're being a butt wiped to someone <laughs> that they feel they have to defend themselves usually in the first place, whether by word and, uh, or deed, right? In other words, if you're trying to hit me and I block you, that's called self-defense usually, right? <laughs> or you try to push me through a tin wall no, Oz never did give nothing to the Tin Man that he didn't, didn't already have, but I'm not a Tin Man. I'm not a Tin Man. <laughs> you don't get to push me through a tin wall and I not knock you upside the head. <laughs> like I had to do with Mr. Campbell there. Mm -hmm. But if I did do that with Mr. Campbell, Mr. Campbell is not doing what he's supposed to do and asking me a personal question that ain't none of his either. And if he is doing that... <laughs> Someone ain't being a good seller. And it ain't Jay Lee, right? Uh, it's a man named Mr. Campbell. <laughs> first, first. Now, whether EMF and King put him up to it or not, I don't know. <laughs> whether they're butt buddies themselves, I don't know. But they sure as hell were gunning for me on the side pan from December of 90 to win, right? Um, October what? 1993. 1993. After three years, almost, right, of being around those two nutballs, I finally cracked in her voice. Huh? <laughs> Constantly going to medical. Falling asleep on watch. All right, they need that, <laughs> by the way. Because they're putting me at odd hours. I'm having to work the 12 to 4 and a day shift and try to sleep with everyone making noise around me during the day before the watch, right? Do you usually sleep like that? Me neither, me neither. And then, okay, after the 12 to 4 watch, guess what? I got to be up 8, 8. <laughs> Before 7 o'clock or muster in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you're tired, strung out <laughs> from all that hoopla. <laughs> and they act like, even then, <laughs> one of the days you fell asleep on watch. Uh, does that seem weird? <laughs> yes. Does that seem like someone's out to get you if you were straight or not <laughs> right wouldn't you think that even if you were gay you wouldn't want to sleep with those two dumb asses whatever the hell they were pulling right 
I'm not saying I'm gay, but I'm saying if you were gay and someone was to keep pestering you about it, do you think they're trying to get to your pants? <laughs> and what and train you first? And that the only way they were pretending they would train you train you a lot if you had sex with them. If you had sex with them. <laughs> and then it's two to one, right? Not training you like they're supposed to the whole time you're on the ship. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> would you let two men, and a gay or straight, try to have sex with you if you weren't into it? No, no. <laughs> what is consensual sex, gay people? Mm -hmm. What is non consensual sex? Do you know? Right. Well, then don't do it to people if you don't want to do it to them. Ain't that what Jesus said, right? If you don't want people to rape you, don't try to rape them, right? Right. So here we go. I know. A year after I'm out the Navy, right? Nope, not quite yet. I'm being discharged from this shit, right? Okay. <laughs> so we're in 94. Mm -hmm. After I got off the ship in October of 93, right? In February, I meet this woman calling herself Daphne Walker, if that doesn't sound like a walker Texas Ranger or a Scooby-Doo plot to me. <laughs> but it does, but it does. <laughs> and did we really have sex? Yeah. Was the baby really fun? I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. But if it was, and it was a plot, <laughs> and you already got a baby with another man's sperm, <laughs> or if you did an vitro fertile disease in your gym, I don't know. <laughs> You don't know. But something's weird the whole time, right? <laughs> and what's the term of do day late and a dollar short? Right. I know that too, right? Hmm. Strange eye, huh? strange eye. Huh? How the facts kind of pale in comparison to reality, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, another thing is, though, mm -hmm. if you put a baby in a woman, right? What is one of the biggest things that could happen, especially in 94, maybe, to a child? Right. Right. Mm hmm. Implanted in vitro. Mm hmm. Or I say she had sex with another man, right? Even, right? But he was too early. Man, <laughs> right. Say five to days to a week. I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, because I don't know either, I don't know either, right? <laughs> so when I say I'm making something up, you got to combine what? Fantasy and reality, no matter what, right? If I'm doing that, I'm not no different than the Hollywood or SVU itself, right? But am I lying if it's an autobiography and telling the truth, which we can all do at any time, right? Or I'm pointing out something, right? right? Now, like I said, when most pastors preach from one scripture to another scripture, they claim to be trying to show you that Jesus is God. But where did Jesus ever say he was God? Yes, he said, he that sees me sees the Father. But what does that mean to you? Right. <laughs> that he's God or man, right? If you're a creature, something made you, right? Mm hmm If you're conceived by a woman who you know man, what does that mean? Something puts you in the womb of the Virgin Mary without her having sex with the man. Technically right, right? <laughs> now, could it have been a hermaphrodite? Technically, maybe, right? <sighs> But the difference is, this child was conceived without a male counterpart, or an angel calling himself Gabriel, mm -hmm. which contradicts what Muhammad said, by the way, Muslims, right? Now, if I'm dealing with a religion, right, and I tell you the opposite of what the religion actually says, am I being literal or sarcastic, right? Could I be being sarcastic, Muslims, right? Or literal, mm hmm. Am I argumentative or am I sarcastic? Right. What's the difference? Right. 
Well, sarcasm can say the opposite of what mm, someone else says. Right? If Gabriel said to Mary, this holy child that is born of you shall become the son of God. Right. And Muhammad said, Gabriel said he was not the son of God. Who is Muhammad talking to about that? Catholics <laughs> or Christians? Am I showing you there's a difference between Roman Catholic Christians and biblical Christians? Yeah, yeah. A big damn difference in there. <laughs> Supposed to be Dr. David Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be <laughs> Doug. Right. <laughs> but I understand you only got 30 minutes, right? But when you feed them very little knowledge of the truth, right? If I teach you 30% of something and there's 60 less, what does that mean? I'm leaving something out. A big portion out. Really, really. Let's say it's half. Because <laughs> Paul said, I know in part and prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, that which is part shall be done later, right? right? So we're considered two parts made by God from the whole. Mm hmm. That whole is Jesus' image, else what image could Adam be made in, right? But the image of the firstborn son of God, even though Adam was born, right, on the sixth day, right? <laughs> and sinned in the seventh day, not the sixth day, by the way. Mm -hmm. The day went from the sixth at the end of the evening and morning of the first day, which is as a thousand years, according to Moses and Peter, right? When you go over doctrine, that doctrine, if it's biblical, the whole book must be read, right? Now, what the Christians are showing you now is a way to understand the Bible. Mm -hmm. If you're carnally minded, <laughs> and not 100% spiritually minded, yes it is, yes it is. <laughs> But if you're 100% spiritually minded, right, do unto others as you would have them do is what Jesus is teaching you God wants you to do to each other. It's forgive each other, right? Don't carnally kill each other for the same crime, right? If you murder an adulterer for adultery and you have sex with a woman and you're not sure she's wife, that's adultery too, right? Even if nobody murders you and you die of natural causes, why are you dying of natural causes if you did nothing wrong, right? Did you murder your brother as Cain did? Right. Murder Abel over the daughter of Satan himself with Adam? <laughs> you say you're looking for the daughter of Satan himself, huh? You found her in your wife. <laughs> She's half his daughter, half Adam's daughter, right? But the thing is, right, if Cain is half Satan's male side, and Abel, Adam's baby, <laughs> the seed of the woman. How did Cain kill Abel? <laughs> did he hit him on the head? <laughs> what does it say? Or, or heal? Or heal? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Why did he kill his brother? <laughs> what does it matter if the Lord? Uh, Except that Abel's sacrifice over Cain's, right? Why is that a big deal? 